Think of coal, right? Yeah. Coal. There's sulfur inside. Yep. And it's how much percent? 3.28. 3.28% sulfur in this lump of coal. Okay? And it gives you a, like a, a volume and a pressure or something like that? Um, for SO2. Okay, for SO2. And what, what are those numbers? Okay, so you're given 738 mmHg. Uh huh. And 2.7 times 10 to the 6 pounds. Of SO2 or of coal? Uh, oh, coal is the pound, sorry. Okay, that's fine. And is that 23 degrees? Okay, so I think essentially what it's saying is in this lump of coal, there's this percent of sulfur. You have this many pounds of coal given. Do you know the final pressure or the final temperature and pressure of the SO2? So that's when they go through the factory to refine it. That's how it comes out. Okay, and then what are they asking for? The volume of SO2. You want to know the volume of SO2. Okay. Well, um, what I do is look at it and see what you're given. And you'll see, okay, I have a temperature, I have a pressure. Um, I want a volume. There's no initial to final state change. So I can rule out like the combined gas law, um, all those Boyle's law, etc. There's only one entity, and it fits beautifully into PV equals nRT. You don't see the N, but you see pounds, so that's nice. And uh, pounds can be converted to kilograms, and then kilograms can be converted to moles. So we have uh, moles too. So anytime you see like density or a mass, or something like that, think, okay, how am I going to convert this into moles? All right, so I have temperature. Let's convert this to the correct units. 23 plus 273 to get me Kelvin. Pressure, I have the pressure. Let's convert that to atmospheres. And so that's 738 millimeters of mercury. And I happen to know that conversion. It's 760 millimeters of mercury uh, for one atmosphere. So you can multiply that out. So far, so good? Yep. So I've got pressure in the right units, temperature in the right units, volume will be born in the right units. So now I'm just left over with moles. So 2.7 times 10 to the 6 pounds. That's the amount of coal I have. In that, there's only 3.28% uh, or 0.0328% of sulfur. So only a, a small portion of it is actually sulfur, which is what we care about in this question. Now, the pounds, oh my gosh, 2 uh, grams, let's see. Is it, I think it's, is it 454 grams per pound? Is that what it is? Let me double check. See if I can. And what number was this? 47. We got this six. Okay. Yeah, let me just make sure I have the uh, right conversion so I'm not leading you astray with the conversions. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Genius. Okay, so that's uh, grams per pound, and so now I'm in grams, I want to go to moles, because I want N. This is going to be my N. So one more conversion for sulfur, molar mass of sulfur from the periodic table is 32.07. So now I have, if you just look at our initial formula, I have N, 
a half t, a half p, and r is a constant, 0 0.08206. So I'm going to get an answer in liters. Is that okay? So you're trying to find the volume of SO2. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you put the molar mass for just sulfur. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I just put the molar mass of sulfur. Uh, yeah. Thank you for catching that. One, there's one mole of SO2 for every one mole of sulfur. There you go. <laughs> now it's SO2. It's kind of the same type of conversion we did when we did empirical formulas. Do we also have to have 454 grams per pound thing? The, any English to metric units, uh, I will give you on the back of the exam as a conversion. So you can have it memorized or uh, just look on the back of the exam. So, okay, you're kind of lost then. So I, I need, this is going to be given, but the other one, which was uh, centimeters to meters and all that, I need to know. Yeah, that's a metric to metric conversion, okay. centimeters to milliliters. But this is an English to metric conversion. I'll give you all English to metric conversions. Okay. Okay. Do you need to know metric to metric in English? Uh, and uh, English to English, I would hope you know that there's 12 inches in a foot and stuff like that. But if it's something, you might not know that there's 50 to 80 feet in a mile. So I'd give you something like that. Yeah. But if I think it's somewhat obvious, then I'll let you figure it out. But most everything, almost everything will be given on.